Hey everybody, this is Dan from Autotask Templates for High Rising. We've got a great new product, uh, product feature here, and uh, you'll have to forgive the background noise. I'm just trying to get this out, and I, I didn't want to wait till I found the perfect situation. I just want to make sure that you guys have the ability to use this new feature right away. So I'm going to do this, and hopefully you can understand me and it's not too loud in the background. Anyhow, um, we're going to break this up into two separate tutorials. One, the first one is for sending emails to your customers based on a task, based on a deal task. And if you use auto task templates for IIs, you know everything's based on these deals and a task within a deal. So you can set those up. And then secondly, uh, the next tutorial we're going to do is how to do SMS messages. And they both work really similarly. If you want to do one, the other's pretty obvious. So, um, but the first thing we need to do is set up our account so that we can send out emails through our own uh, email server. And how do we do that? Well, let's. Uh, there's a new uh, link here, so it says Show SMTP and Twilio info, and here it is. And uh, there's uh, we have four things we need to answer for the email. We need to add a host, the port for the host. Uh, SMT username and an SMT password. Now, the cool thing is, is that Gmail allows you to use their SMTP server for up to like 25 emails a day, and that should be plenty for most people. You're not going to be out sending hundreds of emails out every day. Um, you're going to just be sending them based on where they are in the process, and you want to communicate with them. So, um, so you go ahead and type in SMTP. Now, the port port number. Uh, use 465 for uh, Gmail, and then you uh, you know put your uh, so Fred at gmail.com for instance. So you just put your uh, username. Make sure to include the at gmail.com part for your Gmail account, and then your password. You know. Okay, and that's all you need to do, uh, except for scrolling down and say update profile. Okay, and that's what you need to do for that. The next thing you need to do is you need to go into your high-rise account and uh, uh, go ahead and uh, create a new task and go down here to edit categories and we're going to create new two new categories. So you're going to create them. It's going to be called at well at email to send emails and then at SMS and we'll cover that in the next tutorial for that and you just hit add and that's all you need to do is create at underscore email. Now AT stands for autotask. So autotask underscore email uh, and that's gonna uh, be a category that you're gonna use later. So I already have it so I'm not gonna save that one and we're gonna see what happens. So um, so basically now uh, what we want to do is we're gonna go into our uh, autotask templates back into that and we're going to create a new task. So we're going to manage our auto tasks here. And we're going to add a task. And we're going to decide what, under what situation we're going to create a task. So we're going to say when, uh, when the deal is pending. Uh, and we're going to create a, a trigger, a category. And we've hopefully already created those categories. So we're going to pick one of them. And let's say adjust for a deal. And uh, so this is the cool part. So for our emails, what we're going to do is whatever we put in the task instructions are going to be the emails that create. And so um, this is my subject. So um, we can put a subject line in there. And then we're just going to separate it or delineate it with, with two percent signs. Okay? And then this is the body. It can be as long as you want. Now you can include uh, some HTML in there if you want, and uh, and whatever. Uh, right now we don't have the ability. We don't have the ability to uh, add a template, but uh, pretty soon we're going to be able to. You're going to grab a template, uh, have a template in your system, and it'll just replace the subject in the body. So if that makes sense. So um, we're gonna have that pretty soon. Uh, so and then you can, uh, you know, put your uh, put your information in there. 
um, either uh, that or you can any include um, URLs or whatever. And uh, so, and then you're going to pick your category. You're going to send it out as at email. And how many days from the trigger we're going to have this go out today? And it's going to be assigned. Uh, it doesn't matter who this is assigned to. Um, you probably keep it as a deal owner, and then because um, it's going to, the task will be assigned to you. But the system itself will see the task, send out the email, and complete the task once it's out. So um, you don't have to really think about it much. So we created that task. Should be down here in our list. Um, see it? So here's my subject. This is my body. Dealing with true great. So uh, so let's go ahead and create uh, a deal over here and high rise. See if we can get this to generated. So um, let's uh, go ahead and do a deal. Uh, we're going to add a new deal. Who's the deal with? Um, let's see if we got it. Um, okay, so we'll do it with that. The name of the deal is called test. Describe the deal. How much? Another hundred dollars. Category just four. So that's the category that triggers it. And who's responsible? Me. Add this deal. Okay. So we created this pending deal. We're gonna wait a little while, and it'll run. Um, remember, these run every uh, fifteen to uh, forty-five minutes. And we'll come back after a little while, and that shall have worked. All right, so uh, here we are, and it's been a little while, and the uh, task, uh, 15 minutes has passed, and the task got queued up, and at 1.45 p.m., it's sitting here, and we can see that it's an ad email thing. And so that hasn't been completed. We can tell because there's no checkbox. And it's going to run today, and uh, the emails and SMS go out once a day. And when it runs, uh, it's going to change that to being completed. So uh, let's uh, go ahead. I'm going to stop and coax. Okay, we've let the uh, some time pass here, and uh, we actually have no upcoming task. We can see that an email was sent. Uh, so this is the body. So we can go to the email, uh, take a look at uh, where you know we know that it was sent to the customer. Um, all the information we need is is there, and uh, so uh, where was it sent? Well, it was sent to uh, E365. Now, uh, currently we have it so that it's uh, you have to set up an email within it. Um, we'll eventually get it so it'll kind of have a a series of scenarios. So if there is no email here, it'll go to the first person on the. Uh, it as a contact and send it out to them, etc. So, um, so that got sent out to that email, and uh, and uh, it, it all went as planned. So, it's really easy to send out uh, automated emails to your customers using using auto task templates for high rise. Now, watch the next tutorial, and we'll show you how to send out uh, automated SMS texts to your customers using Autotask templates for high rates. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.